वेलकम बैक टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ कंप्यूटर एकेडमी एक्चुअली आई एम नेहा जोशी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट एलजे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट आवर 6th चैप्टर दैट इज रोबोट टेक्नोलॉजी इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी कवर्ड आवर 5th चैप्टर फ्लेक्सिबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम इन दैट वी कवर्ड डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स लाइक व्हाट इज फ्लेक्सिबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम types of layout which are used in flexible manufacturing system then automated guided vehicles asrs system tool management and cellular manufacturing system in today's session we will cover different topics like introduction to robotics and types of robots application of robots and components of robots Now, first of all, what is robot? Now, as you all know, a robot can be defined as a reprogrammable, self-controlled device consisting of electronic, electrical, or mechanical units. In other words, a robot is a mechanical apparatus designed to do the work of a man. its components are usually electromechanical and are guided by computer program or electronic circuitry as you can see in the diagram how robots are work now we will discuss what are the essential characteristics of robots now first essential characteristic of robot is sensing The robot should be able to sense its surrounding, and that is only possible with the help of sensors. For that, different kinds of sensors are used, like touch sensors, okay, which are used as a hands, then light sensors, then hearing sensors, or chemical sensors. Next essential characteristic is movement. A robot no need to be able to move around its environment, whether by rolling on wheels, walking, snacking, or skating. The next is energy. Robots need to be able to power itself, which depends upon its power resources like battery, power generators, or fuels. And most important characteristic of robot is intelligence. A robot need to be intelligent and smart, which is only possible by the program or person. Okay, programming most important for the intelligence of the robots. Next one is we will discuss about the types of robots. Now there are various kinds of robots. Generally, there are five kinds of robots. Uh, first one is mobile robot, then industrial robot. then domestic or household robot medical robots and military robots now mobile robots are able to move around in their environment and not fixed for to uh, one physical locations next one is industrial robots now industrial robots are used in industrial manufacturing environment like welding material handling painting and uh, other applications next robot is a domestic or household robots now robots used at home such as robotic vacuum cleaner robotic pool cleaner and sweeper are the example of robotics which are used in household or domestic robots last next is medical robots robots are used in medicine medical institutions like surgery robots and last one is military robots Now, military robots are used in military for the purpose of bomb disposal robots, different transportation robots, and drones. Now, here you can see different kinds of medical robots, industrial robots, military robots, and domestic robots, which are uh, used in today. Okay. Now, we will discuss different application of robots in industry. Now, first application is machine loading and unloading. Robots are used for loading and unloading of parts in CNC machining centers, flexible manufacturing system, die casting machines, punching press. The use of robots in such machines reduces the part handling time, thereby reducing the cycle time and improving the productivity. 
in machine loading and unloading the robot should be able to orient the workpiece correctly so as to locate it accurately to machine after taking it from the beams or conveyor next application is material handling the robots are used for sifting the material or finished part from one machine to conveyor or feeder to the storage pallets and arranging them in order such operation is known as a palletizing the robots are also used for sifting the material from storage pallet to the machine conveyor or feeder such operation is known as a depalletizing next application is welding robots are widely used in spot welding and arc welding Spot welding operation is widely used in automobile industries for car body manufacturing. The use of robots for spot welding not only reduces the main power requirement drastically, but it improves the quality as well the rate of the production. The point-to-point -point servo control robots, either hydraulically, hydraulically or electrically actuated, equipped with a spot welding gun, are normally used for the spot welding purpose. Next application is spray painting. In spray painting, a fine mist of paint, both lead and plastic based, is used. It is highly hazardous to human health. Therefore, the modern paint shop uses robot for spray painting operation. For that, continuous path servo control robot with collar or jointed arm tank configuration are used for spray painting. With the use of robot, the resultant coating is far more uniform than the human being can produce. This results in higher quality products and lows, uh, less consumption of paint. The next uh, application is machining operations. The robots are used for different machining operations like milling, drilling, grinding. Okay? So the robot rotating spindles are used as end effectors. The tools are fixed to the rotating spindles for performing the machine operations. The robot used for machine operations are subject to high cutting force and hence should be robust. For that, the Cartesian configuration and cylindrical configuration robots are widely used in machining operations. Next one is assembly. Uh, next application is assembly. In assembly, two or more components are added to form a new entity. The assembly normally involves following operations, mechanical fastening, soldering and brassing, welding, press fitting, adhesive boiling. The assembly involves highly repetitive and boring operations which lead to human fatigue. This may adversely affect the product quality and productivity. The use of robots in assembly result in reduction in manufacturing cost and improve the productivity. The most common use configuration in the assembly is CARA robot. The last application is inspection. Robots are used for inspecting the part or sub-assemblies. The inspection probes mounted on the end effectors are used for checking the dimensions. The check dimensions are compared with the predetermined value. In some cases, the robot separate the rejected parts. So these are the applications of robot. Now here, you can see different application of robot. First one is robot which are used in machining. Okay, then uh, robots which are used in spray painting, we can see here in this animation. Then for the welding, okay, uh, different uh, tools are used and uh, uh, you can see here material handling robots, how it handles the material handling. Okay, so these are the different applications of robots which are used in industry. Now we will discuss advantages of robots. The first advantage is, is robot increase productivity, safety and efficiency of process. Then robot improve the quality and consistency of work. Robot can work in hazardous environment and it need not, uh, uh, robot need no environment comfort. Next advantage is robot work continuously without experiencing fatigue. Robot have repeatable precision at all time. Robot can operate with high degree of accuracy and robot can process multiple tasks simultaneously. So these are the advantages of robotics. So in industry nowadays why robotics are used. Now disadvantages of robotics. 
it needs a highly supply of power then second at least advantage is people can less job uh, in factories uh, third is it need maintenance to keep it running next uh, disadvantage is it cost a lot of money to make or buy a robot as they are very expensive and the last disadvantage a robot cannot respond in a time of danger as human can now here in a uh, history structure of the robotic system generally robot consist of elbow arm wrist manipulator control unit and motion power unit as you can see in this diagram now we will discuss different components which are used in robotics first one is manipulator now manipulator is a combination of mechanical linkages connected by joints to form an open loop kinematic chain the manipulator is capable of movement in various direction the joint of the manipulator produces a motion which is either rotary or linear the manipulator gets a task performed to the end effector which is connected to the manipulator the next component is end effector or it is also known as a hand of the robot the end effector is a part that is connected to the last joint of the manipulator which is generally perform the required task or handle the object the hand of the robot has a provision for connecting the end effector that is specially designed for a purpose the end effector is either controlled by the robot's controller or the controller communicate with the end effector controlling device like programmable logic controller The next uh, component is actuator. The actuator are drives used to actuate the joints of the manipulator. They produce relatively rotary or linear motion between the two links of the joint. In short, they are muscles of the manipulator. The common actuators which are used in robotics are servo motors, stepper motors, pneumatic cylinders, and hydraulic cylinders. The next component is controller. Now, what is the functions of controller? The controller receives the instruction from the processor of a computer and controls the motions of the actuators. It takes feedback from the sensors. The controller performs the three functions. First one is it stores the position and sequence state of the manipulator. It initiates and terminates the motion of individual components uh, of the manipulator in a desired sequence and at a specified point. And it permits the robot to interface to the outside world. via sensors the next component is sensors now what are the function of sensors sensors are used to collect the information about the status of manipulator and the end effector this can be done continuously or at the end of the desired motions the sensors collect the information like instantaneous position velocity acceleration and various of various links and joints of the manipulator this information is sent to the controller using this information the controller determine the configuration of the robot and control the movement of the manipulator sensors used in robots are of uh, generally two kinds non visual robots uh, sensors and visual sensors the next component is processor the processor is the brain of the robot which calculate the motion of the joints as to achieve the desired actions of the robot it send signal to the controller and receive the feedback from the controller and last one is software there are generally three group of software that are used in robotic uh, first one is operating system which are used for the operating of the computer then second one is robotic software which is used for the operation of the robot and last one is application program which is used for the operation of the peripheral devices so this is what about the uh, robotics okay uh different components of robots and industrial application of the robots uh, in which different industrial application robots are used uh, thank you for watching this video